Okay, so another continuation of this whole bogging thing. I think I got it done now. Uh, it wasn't really as bad of a bog like a faulty TPS like before, but it was something I noticed as it warmed up. It would run really rich. You could smell it, if you know what I mean, you know, that, that pig rich smell. Um, ended up being a bad temperature sensor. And basically when you have a bad temperature sensor on these old Articat EFIs is it'll go into a default rich mode. Your computer basically goes off of two sensors. Um, your temperature sensor for your motor and the air temperature sensor on your air box. See those uh, blue and black leads. That's for the air temp sensor. And uh, when one of those doesn't work or both don't work, your computer basically says, okay, go into the default rich mode and runs a pig rich so it doesn't burn down your motor. Which is better than burning down your motor. But um, you can test both of these, your air temp sensor and your coolant temp sensor. There's a form page right here. I'll leave a link down in the description, but basically it's on a snowmobile form and basically you take a voltage meter and put it up to the two leads leading to your designated sensor and you'd write it down and why is it not focusing there we go and you'd find out if it's right or not so let's say you got two volts a little over two volts that would mean it's running at 54 degrees so you know if you're in a like a heated garage like I'm in right now. It's around 55 degrees in here, so that'd be right. But let's just say you test it and it's 126 degrees. That's probably why your computer kicked it into default rich mode. And that's why you would be bogging. So it goes for both of these. Um, there's two different uh, charts for you know each sensor. So you can't just hook up a voltmeter and just make see if it's working with one set voltage so that's all I got um, after putting that new sensor in it runs awesome haven't had a problem with it now I'm just kind of dealing with some smaller problems they oh other side never mind I noticed when I had it up on the lift here see that play let's kind of get it got some play in there I actually have a new one of these um, I had a, I have a few sleds out in the boneyard oh, you can't see it it's dark out but I have the same kind of knuckle so it should match right up I think it's the right one yeah it is okay yep so I'm going to slap that in because this is a good one. Not too hard to do. Just a few bolts and it comes right out. So, But um, yeah, if you got play in your ski and it's coming from there, take care of that whenever you can because that can cause uh, tracking for you know when you're on the trail and it keeps going like that that's what'll cause it there's other reasons too but that can be a big cause but yeah that's all i got if i got another problem with it i'll post it up here on youtube to help some of you guys out thanks for watching